Let's remember what it means to describe functions as either being increasing or decreasing. If we're looking at f of x, I think we would all agree that this function is increasing over its whole domain. And if we wanted to justify y, what would we say? Yeah, since the slope, and what's a calculus word for slope? Derivative. Since its derivative is positive. Okay, let's look at g of x here. Well, clearly we have a positive slope, so g of x is increasing. And then right at this moment, the slope becomes negative. So g of x is decreasing, and then g of x is increasing again. So I would say g of x is increasing on, and let's use interval notation. So from negative infinity to negative one and on, looks like when x is two to positive infinity. Since g prime of x is positive, g of x is decreasing on, let's see, from negative 1 to 2, since g prime of x is negative. So a function is increasing when its derivative or slope is positive. A function is decreasing when its slope or derivative is negative. So let's just talk about one little detail that, that you may encounter at some point in your life. There's a term strictly increasing um, versus just increasing. Strictly increasing means that literally the slope of a function is always positive. Increasing means the slope of a function is positive, but there could be a moment or even moments when the slope or the derivative is zero. So a cubic, for example, would not be strictly increasing over its whole domain, but we would say it, the cubic is increasing. Whereas, for example, an exponential function would be strictly increasing because its slope is always positive and there's never a moment when it's zero. I just wanted to mention that. You might see strictly increasing or strictly decreasing. So now let's look at a graph, not of a function, but of its derivative. This is kind of a kooky little thing that I've drawn. Let's just pretend this is some polynomial, but it's a derivative of a function. And what if I wanted to ask when is the original function, when is f of x increasing? Well, pause the video and see if you can figure this out. On what interval would this original function, whose derivative is graphed here, be increasing? Okay, I hope you saw that f of x is increasing on the intervals negative 4 to negative 1 and on 3 to 4 since the derivative is positive. I also put here or equal to because there is a moment, of course, when um, the derivative might be equal to zero. Okay, so the function is increasing from negative four to negative one because my derivative is in positive land, right? If my derivative is in positive land, that means the derivative of the original function is positive, and therefore the slope of the original function is positive. It's also, my derivative is also in positive land over here from three to four, which means my original function is increasing. Okay, I bet you can guess when this original function f of x is decreasing. And did you conclude this? that f of x is decreasing on the interval negative one to three, negative one to three, 
since f prime of x is less than or equal to zero on that interval. In other words, the values of the derivative are negative. I'm in negative land. The derivative is a negative land, which means that for this whole time here, the slope of my original function is negative. Of course, there's a moment when it's zero, but that's okay for a decreasing function. It won't be strictly decreasing on that interval, but it will be decreasing. Let me just make a point here. Some of you might be wondering why I used inclusive brackets here instead of parentheses. I'm using inclusive brackets here because that's generally what the AP calculus folks do in this context. Um, I myself would prefer to use open parentheses here, open intervals, because it's a little confusing to say that a function is increasing at a point. Um, if you want to Google this, there, there are long discussions about should you use open um, interval notation here or closed interval notation here. It can get pretty wonky if you're into that sort of thing. Um, it's okay either way in this context. As long as you clearly state your reasoning, you should be fine, either using the closed brackets, which is inclusive, or open brackets. Usually we use open brackets when we're talking about slopes or derivatives. It's a little more complicated when we're talking about increasing or decreasing. So uh, you're fine either way here, I would say. All right, I hope this was helpful. There's always somebody calling you down.